Hi everybody, Dr. Biology here, and this is AQA GCSE Combined Science Trilogy Higher Tier Predictions for 2023. I'm going to give you some clear advice that there are no shortcuts in this, okay? So um, I am going to go through a few things, and I'm particularly going to talk about last year's exam, because that will give us some clues to what might appear in some of the questions. But as I said, no shortcuts. You're going to have to revise everything. You're going to revise everything. Revise everything. And finally, can you guess what I'm going to tell you? Revise everything. But stop. Do not press stop. Don't go just yet because I've got some good advice for you. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you uh, what wasn't in the higher tier exams last year. So here we go. So for biology, paper one and paper two higher tier, these were the topics that were not assessed in 2022. Um, you need to be aware that uh, students last year were told what to revise and told what not to revise. Now, I'm not saying that these topics will appear, but they could appear. There's, they're more likely to appear because they weren't in last year's exam. So in paper one, cells, so that includes microscopy, so definitely cell magnification, uh, the difference between light and electron microscopes might come up. Big topic, transport in cells, so that is diffusion, active transport and osmosis, and that includes the required practical on osmosis. Um, next topic, organisation. So plant tissues, organs and systems. So again, things like the stomata, xylem, phloem. I'd learn transpiration and translocation. Infection and response. So viral, these things did not come up. Viral diseases, fungal diseases, protist diseases. So quite a large section. OK, human defense systems. So things like white blood cells was not there last year. Bioenergetics. So that was photosynthesis, uh, uses of glucose from photosynthesis, sorry. And in respiration, the response to exercise. Paper two, homeostasis and response. So there's nothing on the nervous system and nothing on contraception. Variation, inheritance and evolution. Quite a large amount of this was not in the paper. So particularly things like genetic inheritance, sexual, asexual reproduction, inherited disorders, so polydactyly and cystic fibrosis, sex determination, variation, and of course, evolution and the theory of evolution and natural selection by Charles Darwin. And then ecology, nothing on adaptations, nothing on land use and nothing on deforestation. So definitely include those topics in your revision. Obviously, you're going to revise everything, but I'm telling you, this is probably a good bet to have a look at. Right, let's look at chemistry. Last year, chemistry. Ah, well, basically, they had to do everything. Um, so paper one, everything was in there. The only thing they didn't uh, have to revise was identification of common gases. So I think that's a really good one for you to cover for this year. Right, physics. Again, not many topics were excluded, uh, but particularly electricity. Can you believe it? Series and parallel circuits. I'm pretty sure that comes up every year. So definitely series and parallel, domestic uses and safety of electricity. And then the particle model of matter, so internal energy and energy transfers. Paper two, forces, so forces and elasticity and forces and breaking were not in last year. So I would revise that this year. And magnetism and electromagnetism, permanent and induced magnets, magnetic forces and fields. So obviously you're going to have to look at everything, but these things were not not assessed and they, uh, students were asked not to revise these sections last year. Obviously this year you will. So um, on doctorbiology.uk on my website, uh, which is everything is free. So I've got revision checklists. They're very important for your revision. Um, past papers and also um, for each topic, there are um, sets of exam questions and answers. 
Thirdly, learn the keywords. I say this every year, but do some flashcards. Learn those keywords. Four has all the GCSE uh, biology uh, playlists, so particularly GCSE biology and combined science. I've got loads of video playlists. Uh, unfortunately, not much on physics and chemistry at the moment, but definitely biology. Everything in biology is in there. And it's .biology.uk is the best place to find those playlists. Revision tips. Right. Very, very briefly. OK, these are some main revision tips you need to be using these kinds of techniques. So using flashcards, definitely for keywords, definitions, using mind maps. So please don't write out all your notes all over again. Keep it nice and simple. Revise actively. So read it, cover it, recite it check it and then go through that process again until you are completely certain and confident with those topics. Space out your learning. Don't just sit there for hours on end trying to revise. You're going to have to set yourself 20, 30 minute slots and have five, 10 minute break and then then mix it up. Use chunking. Don't just look at one section like cell biology. I would try and mix and match things, okay? Um, there are some ideas on drbiology.uk to help you. Um, you could write your own Q&A. Definitely, though, number seven, practice past papers. I can't stress to you uh, why that is so important, okay? It's because um, they can only ask you so many types of questions. And this spec, this specification has been around for many years. So there is a lots of uh, past papers you can look at. And if you've got a study buddy, that's fantastic. You can teach somebody else. And finally, from me, good luck, everybody. I'm sure you will smash it. Please use Dr. Biology and subscribe and I'll see you soon.